Hey there, strangers, my name's Neos, and this is the House of the Dead Remake! Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. The Spooktacular is starting early this year! Because, hey, it's Friday the 13th. Might as well play something spooky. Oh, excuse me, ma'am, I'm trying to do an intro. I understand you're being attacked by zombies, but I'm in the middle of something here. Hello, thank you very much. Stop interrupting. But <laughs> So I'll try to think of like something spooky to play for not Halloween because we're like a month early, but still Friday the 13th. And uh, I, I couldn't think of anything. So I was like, you know what? House of the Dead could be fun. Let's do some House of the Dead. Where's my mouse on there? Mouse cursor, where'd you go? Hold on. Hey, there it is. So this, like I said, is the remake uh, that's made in Unity, I believe. Uh, I've heard conflicting reports on this being a good or a bad port. I don't know. I don't own the original House of the Dead. I don't know if I ever actually played the original House of the Dead back in arcades or anything like that. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have a light gun for my PC. We're using the mouse. So this might be trivially easy. I don't know. <laughs> I've only tried playing this on my Steam, back, Steam Deck back when I got it. And that was like a year or two ago? Whenever this came out, I don't know. So I don't think I actually finished this. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. And I uh, go from here? We have original and horde mode. I don't know what horde mode is. This lady's just gonna talk in the background. Don't ignore her. So we have normal difficulty, hard, arcade mode. Woo! The classic score mode. She's gonna go with normal, classic, and all that sort of stuff. So what do you say? We play some House of the Dead remake. Chapter one, tragedy. The Curian Mansion hides all this. I was reading that. Could you go back? Hold on. <laughs> why, why did it go so fast? Um... Hold on, chapter one. The Curie Mansion hides all the secrets of the DVR Corporation that conducts experiments on the human genome. Why are you so fast? Go back. <laughs> According to some reports, in 1998, the property was linked to disappearances and on <laughs> an incident of uh, releasing hostile biologically engineered creatures in the mansion. However, the true events were hidden by AMS, concealing all reports, leaving only the vague testimonies of T. Rogan and Agent G as the main source of information. Why is that? It just auto goes. That's really annoying. Welcome to my estate. I trust you'll find your stay here a pleasant one. I'm sure it's to die for. I'm afraid I won't be able to come to greet you personally, but I've sent some of my creations to make you feel right at home, Dr. Curian. Like, you, you could've just put that, like, right there. You didn't have to do that. All right, let's go before this lady yells at us about the phone again. <laughs> House of the Dead remake. So this is back from the, uh... Is it, think, think like, uh... Ooh, can I? I'm wiggling that around. Think like uh, Resident Evil, except it's, um, an on-rail light gun shooter. Which, uh, that seems like fun. Ooh, first chapter, tragedy. Oh. So I've played a couple of House of the Deads on the channel. The last one was House of the Dead 4, and I think it was 2016. It's been eight years since the Oh, the poor frog! <laughs> since the last time um, we saw House of the Dead here. So, you know what? Hey, I think it seems like time to play another light gun shooter. I love these games. Like, light gun games in general are super fun. And the, uh... House of Dead games are terrible. It's great. <laughs> All right, Blamzo. Uh oh, get I already got hit. Now you just get hit already. Don't shoot that guy. Uh, he's he's already been captured or bitten. Shoot him. Okay, so people we have to save. There's one right there. There's one. They're all dead. Just leave them all alone. Okay, is right click you do anything? It is not. So we just have left click, fire, fire, fire. All right. Oh, save him and save you. Oh, almost got that guy. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not. I saved you. I almost did. How do I reload? Oh, huh. Oh. Is it like side of the screen? Oh, right click reloads. Okay. Out of here, you. Yeah. Suck it, zombie scum. Breaking these two, anything? Oh, oh no. Uh, flying dogs? What was that? Is that a goat? What was that? What are you? I don't like it. What is that? It looks cool. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, it's totally me. Who are you? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Did you get sucker punched by a ghost? Oh, hi. Oh, you were in the later ones, I think. Bye. I think that was in House of the Dead 2? Can't remember. Oh, hi. Ugh. Ow. No, that hit him better. How are you missing with a mouse? <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Except that you shouldn't worry about it. You gotta break stuff, because sometimes there's things in things. Uh, am I saving this guy? What, what am I doing here? Was I supposed to save that guy? Oh, no, if I click both, I can just fire forever. Is that guy dead? I may have shot a little bit. I'm gonna just try rapid firing both and see what happens. Just do this. I never have to stop. I mean, my fingers are gonna get tired really quickly, but. 
You mean the voice acting? <laughs> ah, no, get him! Reload infinitely! Yeah! <laughs> That's so cheap. Oh, somebody's coming. Gonna blow you up. Gonna do it. Hi. Reload! Reload! Come on, I wanna blow you up. Somebody be right there. Uh-oh. Oh, froggies! These are like evil frogs, though they didn't get squashed. That's so cheating! I feel like that was also in the, um, in, uh, the fourth game that I played on the PlayStation 3, uh, doing the, the triggers was how you fired and reloaded, and you could totally just do that. But you had a shotgun, so it was way worse. Oh, there's stuff in these! Crap! I, sh I thought it was an explosive barrel that would, you know, break stuff. Okay, let's try not to cheat too much. <laughs> if we start losing, we'll cheat. That seems like fun. Okay, there's also some barrels right there to shoot. Reload! Reload! What you got for me? Oh, no! No, I don't think so. Get away from me, you zombie boy. There's a whole bunch of things I'm just missing. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why are you made of tinfoil? Here's a scientist. You should be able to, to eat a bullet or two. <laughs> oh, they're flopping around. Oh, wow, you can actually shoot when they're already down. They're actually ragdolled properly. Oh, no. <laughs> very, uh, oh, no. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely very unity. Yeah, like that sheen and things kind of just properly ragged. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so we can do this. Yeah. Oh, well, just shoot the pile and they all die. I didn't expect that. Hi. What's in here? Just stay right there. Give me. Who would I get? I don't know. Oh, an extra health. Okay. Cool. Oh no. Oh. Oh come on. So uh, you know what? I'm. Oh no. <laughs> I'm supposed to save those guys. Um, for those who don't know, the House of the Dead games are, uh, once made by SEGA, but also they are arcade games. So these would, you'd have an actual physical, like, it, it's a physical, not like a real gun, but you'd have a plastic gun with a, a light sensor on it, and you'd shoot it at the screen. Ah! So a lot of these things are intentionally made to be kind of cheap, uh, you know, to eat your quarters. This is back in the days of using, like, paying quarters to play those games to have unique experiences. Which is why this sort of thing doesn't necessarily hold up the best playing, like, on your computer at home. Because <laughs> you can just plow through it. But it's still kind of fun. You just go through this stuff. From what I understand, uh, this is, like, an exact remake of the original House of the Dead. Like, they kept the same terrible voice acting. Obviously, the physics and stuff are different. The graphics are different. Uh, ooh, so I don't know if the gunplay is exactly the same. But you do have uh, the, the terrible, 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 terrible story and dialogue. Which is, uh, oh, 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 clipped her armpit. <laughs> um, which is, like, kind of part of the fun of the House of the Dead games. They're really, really bad. They're like early Resident Evil levels of, like, oh, no, don't go in that door. I hope you don't become a Jill Sandwich. Like that sort of thing. That's great. Oh, how did you get back there? Giant hulking zombie men? How can you... That's a bad idea. You're gonna ricochet and get yourself shot by your own bullet. Who's there? Some sort of... Oh, no! Got him. Oh, what's back here? Hello? There's stuff back there. Get me stuff somewhere. No! Oh! Woo! Come on, there's stuff back there. <laughs> I barely got that. Yeah! What do we get? Health? Oh, hi! Oh! Oh, you scared me, Biggie! Biggie boy! Oh, there's stuff right there. Hold on. No, there's something right there. Oh! 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 Nope, none of that. Don't you flex at me, Mr. Not Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh! Get this stuff over here. Get, yeah, there we go, points. Points are good. Come on, oh, get the thing in there. So in the, um, at least in the other games, usually when you'd save somebody, they would give you health. It was a reward for playing well, because, you know, it cost you money, because I've already had to pay a second quarter to keep playing this. I had to shove a quarter into my computer. I put it right into the disc tray. <laughs> are you okay? Hi. Is she getting carried away again? Here it- oh yeah! Is that a robot? <laughs> oh! Is she super dead? <laughs> oh no, weak point, okay. Gotta shoot you in your weird little chest thing. Uh, let's try not to do the right clicking trick. So, with the actual one, for those who don't know, like, the arcade version of this, the to reload, wow. You would actually have to aim off to the side, so every time you'd fire, you'd go click, and then it would reload. It was kind of like you were, like, raising up the- change out the clip or something like that. But actually, now that I say that, I wonder how many people... How many people watching this know anything about this game? If, who here has played the original House of the Dead, like, in arcades? Oh, he's losing all of his skin! So I guess I gotta blow off his limbs. Oh, wow. That is nasty. Down you go! Fall apart. Do it. Just... Bleh. Get him. 
Get him! He's got Sophie. squiggly bits. I don't like it. You alive? Barely. You must stop Kyrian. Also, I needed your spine. A terrible. Like you getting squished into a wall? Oh Sophie. no! Not Sophie! She was the best of us! I saved everybody except for those three. I don't know what happened to them though. It could have been anything. It could have even been me shooting them by accident. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! Uh, try shooting the right moment. The enemy may block your shot. Ooh. Wait, shoot at the right moment. The enemy may block your shot. That's a weird way to say that. We know more about game progress. Check stuff. The second chapter. Revenge. All right, cool. Here we go. You guys ready for... Oh. Yep. What's in here? Stuff? Points? Yeah, suck it, loser. So I'm assuming the higher difficulties... Because I don't know if they had difficulties in, like, the arcade game. Um... If it, ooh, down here, secret passageway. I know the later games you actually had multiple routes you could go, which is really cool. I wish they put those on. Oh, on PC, that'd be great. Cause these, I love playing through these. They're a lot of fun. Hi there. Um, but I don't know if like higher difficulty would make more enemies, or if they take more shots, or like remix how the enemies are laid out, like Devil May Cry or something. He's basically the same quality. It's really not. Oh come on! I shot the instant you showed up. Like I said, a little intentionally not the most fair. <laughs> now you can like pull the trigger really fast if it's just a mouse click. <laughs> That's crazy. How many bullets do you have on you, sir? Can I just ask like how deep are your pockets? Not for oh no bad. Stay back, you. <laughs> not like money wise, but um you know physically, how big are your freaking pockets? You've got so many bullets in there. Oh yeah. Anything in there? I see bodies hanging from- oh, wow, they got physics on them? That's grody. Hello? Uh-oh. Um, hi. How you doing? Ah! Weird lizard man! And or, uh, I don't know, swamp thing. Just hit me with a sledgehammer, but I'm fine. I'm a very durable, I don't know, police officer? Private eye? Scientist? Gordon Freeman man? Oh, hi. I like we got some health out of that. I'm sa so I guess this game must not have the ability in the, um, the later ones either by shooting stuff or from some of the people you'd save, they'd give you different weapons. Like, here's an SMG, okay. And you just have limited ammo for a while. But it was super cool. Yeah, I heard that off to the left there. Why would you, oh yeah, make out. Why would I not turn to the, uh, the chainsaw faster? I feel like that was a, oh yeah, save her. Th that zombie, oh, you're very strong. That's a guy, still very strong. Thank you. Here you go. Have this entire med kit that I keep in my back pocket. Enjoy! I hope this save helps you on your journey. Oh! Oh no! Not weird Freddy Krueger thing! Get him! What is in here? I hear that and I don't like it. Turn, turn, turn. Oh! We're fine. Oh no, his face is gone! <laughs> so nasty. The fact you keep shooting is kind of fun. Oh, they're torsos! Evil zombie torsos! Hey, algorithm, these are zombies. These are like monster creatures and mutants. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's cool. Oh no, bats! And evil vampire bats! Here to suck our blood! Or something. Hello? Anybody around here ready to be shot by me? The hero of the day! Oh, wow, that guy dodged a lot of bullets. Take that. <laughs> I got him. Oh. Oh. You can get some jump scares in here. Oh, you got nothing! Oh, I shot him with the leg. Is he still alive over here? Oh, he would have hit you, like, right there. Uh-huh. Oh no. You gotta always look for the background for stuff to pick up. Oh, like that guy! Oh, yeah, pick up that guy! Uh oh! <laughs> Take him out to dinner! Shoot his stupid chainsaw! I didn't even have to fight those other ones, they're just going- Oh, the leeches! Oh! Little flying leeches, I hate them! Those are in the other games, too. Ooh! Hello? Oh! Why was- Why is that blocking a section of wall? Who did that? Why would that be there? Oh, hi! <laughs> Wait, did I blow off his arm that held the chainsaw that he, like, swung nothing at me? That'd be kind of cool. Goodbye! I don't know if they had physics enabled in the original ones. Like, them, like, flopping out the window and stuff is actually pretty great. Ooh, get the fish! Oh, come on, no zombie fish. Just trying to get it. Uh-huh. Ooh, right here. Yeah. Oh, pfft. I'm sorry! You, you know, you were probably a zombie. He was probably bitten. It's like that guy at the beginning that's like, here, save all my friends. He got bitten on the neck. We're gonna have to fight him later. Don't worry, we're probably not. Uh-oh. Also... On top of- Ooh, give me that! Give me that! What was it there? Oh, I didn't shoot enough. Oh. Oh, different roots? Maybe? I don't know. Shoot that. I don't know. Oh, shoot that thing! No, I don't care about you! Break this thing over here! 
Okay, yeah, you hit me a few times. Uh, devastate the opponent's lab, or their lab as best as possible. Got an achievement for that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Shade Saw was still going off after he was super dead. What's that? There's, the, I guess it's part of the replay value. Everything goes by so, oh no! Everything goes by so fast, there's a lot of items you miss. Duh. I'm trying to think, like, there's a lot of really great light gun shooters. They don't really, like, exist much anymore, but I love them! Like, there was the, uh, the Resident Evil ones that were kind of fun. They may not have been the best ones, but they kind of condensed the, uh, the first several Resident Evils down into light gun shooters. And then you had, um, there's a Dead Space one that was pretty good. Oh, I love the, uh, oh, wait, oh, oh, come on! I saved you and you leaned into it. That was your fault. <laughs> Entirely on my fault, it's garbage. Um, man, I can't remember the name of it. I have it from, um, I mean, Time Crisis, that's a great series. Where you actually get to hide behind stuff and all that. There was one that was attached to one time, oh, I'll talk about it in a second. Oh no, what are you? A gargoyle? Okay. No! Oh no, well, didn't seem like he was that high earlier. I guess they're dead. Hanged man. Type 4. Weak point. No, type 41. Okay. Guess we're doing this. Down you go. Did you can attack me with bats? Yep, here they come. But there was a... I can't remember what it was called. Like, like Dread Pirates or something. But it was attached to uh, the PS3 copy of... Um, one of the Time Crisis games, where they, it was like the dumbest premise, and I played it in an arcade, and when I found out that I could actually physically buy it, I was so happy. Where the whole premise is, you're playing as, like, these two young pirates that are following around like this, like, you know, stereotypical, like, yar pirate man, with the, the eye patch and all that. But they have magic revolvers that fire like machine guns, <laughs> and you just go around going like, as you fight against, um, all sorts of things, like you fight a Kraken, you fight a, whoa, um, there's something, I heard your voice off to the right there. Oh, do I stop you from attacking me? How do I do this? Oh, it's just a cutscene, cool. By Kraken, you fight, like, skeleton monsters, I think you fight, like, mummies and things, like, it's, it's the dumbest. I love it so much. I haven't played it in so long, though. I always wanted to get a light gun for my, uh, PlayStation 3. In fact, I have one. I have two. And every time I've managed to get one, they didn't come with a sensor bar, so it doesn't work, and I've bought two sensor bars, and they weren't made for that specific light gun, so I can't play the stupid things with a light gun. It's the worst. But, um, I'd love to play that on the channel at some point. Like, it's it's great. It's so dumb. It's the best. Hello. How did, won't let you have it your way, did the cameraman Korean. almost fall off the ledge? How does that... Oh. So the, some of these are dead for some reason. Don't worry about it. The camera was, like, falling back and forth when it turned back. The guy was over there. So it was like his perspective, and then it wasn't. However that works, I don't know. Try shooting at the right moment. Yes, thank you. See, horde mode isn't suited for the light, for light armed agents. Okay. Curian is close. Don't let him get away. Okie dokie. I don't actually know how many levels there are. The third chapter, Truth. This is an arcade game, so probably not the most chapters. But look how badass this guy is. He just swoops in and hangs out, or like takes out these zombies. They're just kind of hanging out. They're just, they're just waiting. They were just having a fun time. Oh, we're in evil lab. Oh no! Goodbye. <laughs> wow, they're so scary. Yep, I guess we'll have to go get a key card somewhere. Let's go. Yeah, I do. Oh, oh hi. What is that? Oh no, hold on. What is that? It's like Jason X. They were taking the zombie. We're gonna turn it into a cyborg, I guess. What? What exactly is the experiment you're doing, Mr. Curian? Here it is, I have found the security card. It says security card on it. It's just laying over there on that desk. Where'd you come from? <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, let's open this. Oh, thank you. I'm glad the door told me that it was unlocked. Hey, you. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Let's just do the double click. There we go. The double click dance. Anything in there? No. There's gotta be stuff to break somewhere. It's so cheap that I can just do this. Oh, whoo, 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 hi. I, uh, totally saved you intentionally and didn't almost shoot you by a total accident. Don't worry about it. Ha-ha! Suck it, loser! <laughs> break all your computers so you can't make more zombies. Like the jerk that you are. Ooh, let's break that open. I don't know how those work. I think the little blue part of it, maybe? I don't know. I also know what's in there. We haven't opened one of those, I don't think. Hello? Somebody coming out of here? Oh no! They're gonna jump down from there! Whoa! Oh, I got him! Barely in time! You know, we've only had to read... Like, re or, uh, oh, phase huggers or giant spiders? I don't know what those are. I don't like them. They're grody. 
Whatever they are. Ah! 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 It's like those horseshoe crab things, or whatever they're called. They're like, have the really long legs. Oh! <laughs> We've only had to add one extra quarter, so we're doing pretty good so far. Up and down? All around? I don't know. Whoa! Sonic reference, but this is put out by Sega, so that makes sense for once. All right, I'm pretty sure that pointed is up. I guess maybe I called it up here. Why can I not shoot through the chain link fence? Oh, gonna be dudes coming out of the goo. Oh, hi, do you have electric? What was that? Electric knife hands? I break through this? No. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> See, these are kind of goofy. And this, oh wow, you just spazzed in and then out again. That was weird. But realistically, if one of those ran straight up to you, it would be terrifying. Oh, this game would be great in VR. Like, this series would be great in VR. That would be so much fun. But I, I don't know. Why have they not done that? Maybe they did. I don't know. I need to play more VR games. I need to get things set up to be able to play VR games again. I miss VR. It's so good. Anyway, the light gun games are great. I miss light gun games. I miss arcades where I can play this sort of thing. Who knew? That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, not you again. More of these things, whatever they are. <laughs> what exactly was your plan with these? Like, what is this? What? What? It's like, I'm gonna just, it's mostly cyborg at this point. It's got like a grabby hand. Maybe the, maybe it was a homage to the arcade. Kyrian was like, I love those little grabby machines. I'm gonna turn my zombie into a grabby machine. I was not looking when that thing jumped at me. These are totally just little crabs. Little green-blooded zombie crabs, I guess. Oh, here comes somebody. Somebody's angry in here. It's, it's, oh, what? Come on, I thought he was dead. Super lame. What's in these? Just gonna shoot at those. <laughs> I super thought that guy was dead. Okay, sure. Use this. Okay, what happens if I don't save him? Do I get it off of his body or you go a different route? Like, so, wow, these things are spazzing in and then, <laughs> like, it appeared and then went back up to where it was supposed to be. So, that's a little glitchy. <laughs> don't worry about it. This computer is far beyond the power that the arcades would have had at the time, so it should be fine. But it's not necessarily- Oh, you throw your little knife hand? That's weird. Anyway, so this is the part where the tyrant shows up and Jill is like, Oh, I've got a rocket launcher now! And then, you know, Leon is, like, all super suave and his hair is really, like, sexy and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and then Chris punches that boulder. You remember that boulder? Oh, no! It's really just, like, no female zombies. Not that I really necessarily want that, but it's, like, it's weird that he specifically just... They're also really buff, except for these, except for the ones that aren't buff. It's like he raided the all-you-can-eat buffet store, also as a known as a restaurant, and then also, um, I guess the weightlifter club. And it's like you're all zombies now. Is that, or I mean, or did you dig them up? As we know, most people that are buried are super buff. <laughs> people tend to be really healthy when they die. That's how that works, right? I don't think so. Oh, no! So, yeah, if you're... Uh, I need to stop doing the... Well, left and right click makes this easier. I don't know. It's fine. In the uh, arcade, you obviously would have to, you know... Use your shots more strategically. Like, bang, bang, and then try to knock the things out of the air as they come by. Which, it's kind of weird that it's just a right click. I don't even have to, like, go off to the side to reload. Oh, no! Which is how the gun in the original game would have worked. But anyway... <gasps> is that Curian? It is. He's in a plant place. Hi. Compliment you. Hello. I didn't think you could make it this yep. far. Oh no, he doesn't really look like this evil scientist. He just looks like dork. Let's see how good you really are. Yeah, are you gonna get eaten by your own plant? Oh no. Okay. Oh, what is that? Hermit type six eight oh three. Okay. So we're fighting a big spider. I'm pretty sure there was a big spider in some of the other ones too. Okay, so we got a hit in the face and then his gut. Okay, so apparently in normal difficulty, this thing's real easy. <laughs> okay, I should beat this in the arcade. It's only cost me 50 cents so far. Well, 75, because you have to, you've had two restarts. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna shoot little things. Oh, he's blocking, and not anymore, he's not. Okay, I gotta hit him in the face, make him raise up. Okay, I've gotta wait for him to spit his goo at us, I guess, maybe. Yep, yeah, so he's gonna spit, there it is. Eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. It's so difficult with the mouse. And he's gonna try to hit us. He's gonna fail. Like the stupid buggy is. Beat Hermit at the end of the third chapter. Maybe I played the first two chapters when I played this on the Steam Deck. We just gotta achieve it there. Yeah, just wall run your way around it like a huge badass. 
Urgh, so angry. Yeah, this music's so cheesy. Dee -dee -dee -dee. All right, it's gonna be the final chapter. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. I thought when we went into a, an evil lab, that was gonna be it. The boss got you cornered. Aim for the weak spots. I think you should probably always do that. The faster you kill, the more points you get. Oh! The final chapter, the house of the dead. Which is now in a cave. That doesn't really seem like the house. Okay, so the faster you kill, which means I should just be like, all the time. <laughs> Don't stop cheat firing. Just be, oh, got your face squished. What happens if I shoot that? What happens if I shoot this? Uh-huh. What is that supposed to be? B unlocked what? That's the key? Uh, turn on this elevator. We need to activate this Tesla coil that con contains the power of a thousand lightning bolts. I'm just gonna keep fighting right here. What you gonna do? Nothing! Gonna suck and die! Am I supposed to shoot his hand? I assume it's just the weak point I'm going to fire at. But he's, he's getting really close. And, I, like, even with me cheating, he's getting really close. There we go. Yeah, back up! Back up, you! It's weird it's the same monster a second time. He, I thought he was, like, a unique dude. He's not. And his leg! Oh, did we get him? Oh, like, yeah! Oh, we can blow off more muscle. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Get his hands! We did it! We didn't even get touched by him. Super freaking all! Oh, I saw through the universe. Did you see that? Okay, we're doing a boss rush. Mega Man style boss rush. Boss rushes get a bad rap. I feel like I've said that in a video before. I think boss rushes are neat. Particularly if it's like this, where it seems like they might be a little bit easier. But you're just getting to, like, play through them again. It always seemed cool to me, particularly in games where you've improved. So it's like in, in canon, and I guess even you, it, like your skill as a player. Shoot all of his, uh, the devilians? Whatever those are, his, his tiny bats. But I always thought it was cool to get to play through them again. Like sometimes it can be, if, if they're like really hard bosses and sometimes it can be too much, it's really annoying. Okay, actually, it's faster to fire like this, reload and fire them all. Come on, get him. So I have to hit him enough to stun him. He's going down. There you go, loser bag! Anyway, I, th I think boss rushes can be cool. If they're done well, and the, the bosses don't take, like, ages to get through, and you, like, have one health bar or something like that. But anyway, what is this? Oh no, the fat bosses! Oh, are you kidding me? I beat two bosses and the fat guy's shoulder checked me to death? They came out of the lightning, how'd you even come through there? I don't feel like you should- Oh, he's floating away! So there's just one of these, so there's gonna be one set of each kind of enemy. Wow, I'm suddenly getting hit by everything. All right, and next one, oh, shoot that. Oh, hi, oh. oh, they've got gold bodies or something. Or maybe it's just the light, I'm not sure. Oh, hi, uh, 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 uh. Take down Fatty. All right, shoot this thing. Is there something in that or not? It looks like there should be something in that, but maybe it's just a background thing. The fact it's got a little glowy blue spot makes me think it's something. Ooh, final boss time, here we go. Are you ready for the ultimate power? Shadow the Hedgehog reference this time. <laughs> Again, it's Sega, it's fine. There's no way out, Kyrian. Oh, hi, how are you doing? I was just posing. Uh-huh. you will never, ever defeat me. Never, ever. Something with horns, it looks like. Weren't you making zombies? How, what, what is that? Your masterpiece is part of its muscles exposed. Hi. Nobody gives me instruction. I feel like your masterpiece might be about to wreck you. What did you, Curian? You fool! Oh, Curian! He's super dead and doesn't show up in all the other games. Why don't you follow my instructions? Because you're bad at this. Oh well, I guess this one dude with a. Pistol is gonna save the day. <laughs> Hello? See, magician type? Zero. Unknown. Oh, he does not. His weaknesses are unknown. <laughs> I feel like some of the ones in the other games did like that, but like, what is this? This does not look like it's from the. Like, oh no! Well, I guess you pose down like that. Like, what, what am I fighting? This does not fit a zombie, like, shooty game. I'm fighting some sort of Final Fantasy final boss. <laughs> So we've awakened some ancient magical horror. Okay, I'm assuming I want to shoot him in the the gooey bits. I'm not entirely sure. I have time to look at the health bar as I'm trying to make sure I shoot the things down. That seems like that's working, maybe. 
He's taking FC damage, and I hear plinking every time I hit something else. Okay, maybe that's what we gotta do. Shoot him in the leg. Just shoot him in the thigh. Shoot him in his little weird zombie robot crotch. He's like, oh no, my robot crotch! I need that for robot crotch time! <laughs> robot crotch time? I don't like the sound of that. What's my robot crotch girlfriend gonna do? Uh-oh. Okay, let's just, uh, survive this. That'd be great. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah! Oh, <laughs> don't even know if I hit that last one. It went away, though. It's fine. Hey, hey, you. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't even know what I was supposed to do there. We spent a dollar now. That's a whole dollar. I mean, I probably bought this for like 20 bucks or something. Whatever. I don't know. I think it was on sale. Probably like 12 bucks. Whatever. Doesn't matter. These old games are fun like that, though. Yeah, I feel like, looking at like how simple this is, it feels like they probably should have just put all four of the... Uh, House of the Dead games together in, like, one thing or something. That would have been kind of fun. I don't know if they've re-released the other three, like, on PC or anything, because I just have, a uh, three and four, and, uh, that one that looks like a grindhouse, uh, like, actual has a story and upgrades and stuff. I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, those are on the PS3. I don't know if they've been on anything else. Come on, shoot his legs again. Okay, take all these down. Don't worry about it, he's gotta shoot all these, like, molten suns that somehow this zombie robot is throwing at me. What are you? You're the ultimate creation of some crazy douchebag who does not even look like a scientist. He's just like a, a snooty, like, book man. It's like, mm, yes, let me tell you about my latest poetry. I bought the Mona Lisa today. I do think it's so pedestrian, or something like that, I don't know. It's a, it, it doesn't, Mona Lisa doesn't drive. <laughs> She's a pedestrian. <laughs> Such a weird phrase to make you sound snooty. Anyway, yes, reload, I get it, reload. Lots of reloading. I'm reloading already. <laughs> Can you imagine playing this on, like, super hard difficulty? Oh, he threw four at me that time. This is how you, uh, get people... This, as I've mentioned many times in many videos for arcade games, this is the point it's where it's like, shut up, child, give me all of your money. You've played enough, just give us the money. You, you're you invested this far, don't you want to see the end? Well, we're going to just throw everything at you and make you lose and take all your money. Because again, remember, when you're doing this properly, you're holding a physical, like, light gun. And you have to, like, aim off to the side every time you want to fire or reload. So you have to re-aim every time. And you're pulling triggers so your aim isn't as tight as it is with a mouse just clicking it. Anyway, we destroyed the magician! The magician? Really? Does this look like a magician to you? You haven't seen anything yet? Wait for my cool fireworks explosion. So I'm in my final form. My final form is an exploded corpse. I guess. So anyway... That happened. Everything is over. Oh no! Yeah, what he said. However, I must go on. Let us go. I guess that was his girlfriend or something died earlier. But it's where he gets to this point. He's like, I have nothing left to lose now that I've killed the bad guy. Kyrian's that way. He stopped back. You're going towards Kyrian right now. He died over there. What are you talking about? We did it! Finished the campaign on any difficulty, and I only accidentally shot five scientists. Woo! <laughs> and we got achievements and stuff. Abuya. Ooh, something at the end here. Recky file, standard agent. Oh yeah, 49785. That's my score. Feel free to beat that. Choose your name. Wait, oh, insert, choose your name. Neos. There we go. We did it. How do I, uh, accept? Except press enter. Neo. Okay, what do you want me to do here? Use keyboard. Accept. Just, just accept it. We're done. No. How do you do this? How am I supposed to finish this? Enter. Accept my name, you jerk. The name is done. I'm trapped here. This was Kyrian's final puzzle, is getting out of the name entries. Just take it! Take the name! <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Question mark? Uh, 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 uh. Somebody help me! Confirm agent's name. Wait, tab? I did tab? Why is a light? It's a light gun game! Why am I pressing tab? You'd be clicking every- whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I got it. It was Dios with like 85 dots. We did it, everybody. 
Good job, Megapixel. Your name entry at the end was jank as butts. <laughs> but yeah. So hey, once again, happy to Friday the 13th, everybody. Woo! I, you know, I probably should have just played Friday the 13th. <laughs> I don't have any of those games. I could probably find a way. There's the, the online one or something. There's the old NES one. Everyone loves that one. That was terrible. Uh, but yeah, light game guns are fun. And I miss them, and I miss arcades, <laughs> just saying that. But the uh, the House of the Dead games are a lot of fun. This is probably, from what I've seen, this seems like the weakest one. It does still have kind of the cheesy dialogue, but some of the later ones get better, like more weapons, uh, more interesting bosses. You have a lot more cutscenes with the terrible, terrible dialogue. And it's like they're longer and have more to them, more, uh, you know, a variety of enemies and stuff, which is cool. Lead, lead designer is Hiribizu... Is that a real name? feel like you're summoning something. Uh, if that's your real name, I'm sorry. <laughs> it didn't look like a real name. I don't know. But yeah, this is still a lot of fun. So hey, if you guys like the old school little light game and stuff like this, let me know. I got this along with Panzer Dragoon. I haven't got around to playing that yet. Um, when they were both on sale forever ago. Uh, that's more like a Star Foxy sort of thing, but still an on-rail shooter versus a light gun game, which is still very similar to an on-rail shooter. Um, these kids are great. I like them a lot. I'm curious. If I have to, uh, let's, I'll let the credits go. <laughs> what do you guys think of this? What do you think of games like this? Do you remember playing these in the arcades? I gotta think of something to say to continue through the credits. <laughs> I still think they're fun, though. I really gotta figure out what that pirate game is, though. Because I'd love to play that sometime. I might have to see if I can... I guess I can just play all my PS3, or I can just find a way to emulate or something on here. PS3 emulation's a pain in the butt. I don't know. But this game still looked pretty good. It, it was done on Unity, so it's probably relatively cheaply done. I assume this is like, it's a remake, and the Sega's not always the most, you know, f biggest at throwing money around for supporting stuff like that. I think it still looked pretty good. I, I mean, it's pretty basic. It is an arcade game, and the first of an arcade game series. But I don't think it looked bad. I know a lot of people, when this first came out, were saying like it either looked really nice or it was ugly or something. I think it looks fine and I'm just happy to actually be able to play it on modern hardware. Just throw it on some, let's just download it on Steam. It's not very big. It took like five minutes. I was like, I'm going to play this in a minute and you know, download it and hey, now it's Friday the 13th. Woo. It's, I mean, it's currently like 12.43 in Friday the 13th. I start playing this at midnight. <laughs> uh, same thing that happened with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, fighting collection arcade classics yesterday. So hey, more arcade games, everybody! I'm a big fan of the arcade games, did you know? <laughs> so good. This is a long cred sequence. We have, uh, no, announced on the music. Usually I like letting this all play out, but I, I, you're, you're taking your sweet time with this, so we're just gonna cut it. <laughs> so hey! Oh, did we get a final cutscene? Oh, just go to the menu. I guess that was it. Maybe. That sure is a snapshot. Uh huh. I guess that was it. Now it's going into the how to play section. Woo! <laughs> so, anyway, this has been the House of the Dead Remake! If you guys want to see any more of these sorts of games, let me know. If you have suggestions for other games like this, I would genuinely appreciate it because suggestions are always welcome. And maybe at some point, I can try to do some multiplayer with somebody and try different difficulties or the horde mode, which is more modern apparently. I don't know anything about that. I'll try that out sometime. And maybe for the channel if you want to see it. If not, I'll play on my own. You know, it's fun to play stuff. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed some undead blasting and slashing. And actually, it was only bullets. Dundead shooty booty action. <laughs> shooty booty? <laughs> I'm trying not to say, like, just blasting them with a gun because I'm worried about the algorithm being upset. But yeah, just blasting some undead zombie action and giant mutants. We saw those too. But take care. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>